I'm Dr. Shivani Deswal. I'm senior consultant in the Department of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Liver Transplant at Medanta, the Med City, Gurgaon. Our liver weighs around 1.5 kgs in adults and in a 5-year-old child it weighs around 500 grams. So if your liver has more than 5% fat, it is labeled as fatty liver disease. We basically classify the children into two types. One is the nutrition associated fatty liver disease or the metabolic dysfunction associated fatty liver. These children are usually happy eaters. They are obese or overweight. They have a central obesity and they have a metabolic dysfunction like a pre-diabetes along with them. The other group are the syndromic or the genetic variety in which the cause of fat in the liver is some enzyme deficiency or genetic. So these are the lean fatty liver that we deal with. There have been multiple studies. The average prevalence has been seen to be around 7% in the rural population and around 22% in the urban children and it raises up to 42% in obese or overweight children. According to the UNOS database, uh, fatty liver has become the leading reason for young adult liver transplantation. So if we prevent and diagnose fatty liver disease early in children, we can prevent adverse liver outcomes in adulthood. A child may be diagnosed incidentally when he comes to us in the OPD because he is overweight and obese and we screen him. Or the other complaints that he can come to us with is with a right upper abdominal pain or fatigue or sometimes an hepatomegaly on ultrasound and gallstones. The other rarer presentations of fatty liver, that is less than five years, they may present to us with liver failure or a chronic liver disease. According to the international guidelines, all children more than nine years of age who are obese, that is their BMI is more than 95th centile for their age and sex, should be screened, as well as all overweight children that is a BMI more than 85th centile with other risk factor like a family member with fatty liver or a diabetes or a canthosis nigricans or a hypertension should be screened. We normally use blood liver enzymes level. If it is more than two times the upper limit of the normal, the ALT, we label as fatty liver. After we rule out the other causes of fatty liver in children like Wilson's and autoimmune, uh, the other supportive evidence is by a fibro scan and a CAP score value along with ultrasound. Basically, it is very important to rule out metabolic and autoimmune causes of fatty liver in children. Once we are sure that this is a metabolic dysfunction or a nutrition associated fatty liver disease, we do a lifestyle modification in these children. So in lifestyle modification, the most important is the diet. A diet has to be cut in all type of sweetened beverages and sugars. It has to be rich in vitamin E, vitamin C, antioxidants, fibers and whole grains. Sedentary habits of children has to be modified. Physical activity of 45 to 60 minutes should be encouraged. A screen time of less than two hours a day should be given. Pharmacological management is rarely needed in children.